Well, here around the table of the G20, I heard a lot of positive messages about the decisions we have taken uh, the 27th of October. Uh, most of the leaders say they are, these, these are good decisions, bold decisions, you have to implement them. Uh, but of course the, the case uh, of the Greek referendum created a lot of confusion. And so I hope that this is off the table now and so we can work again on the structural solutions on the level of the member states and at the level uh, of, the, of the Union. Apparently the uh, idea of a referendum is not any more uh, actual. Eh? So let's hope that this is the case, uh, that the Greek government and Greek parliament can approve uh, the new programme so we can disburse in the middle of uh, December and things can go on. Uh, but uh, we are depending on what's happening in Greece. We are a union of 17 lively democracies, so we can't interfere in all this. But we said yesterday very clearly to the Greek government, uh, you can do what you want, but we have to be sure that the money we invested, uh, that we are lending, that we will get that money back one day. Uh, and that's why we have to be sure on it and we can't disburse as long as this uh, referendum is still on the table. Uh, so I'm glad, apparently, that uh, they left that bad idea of referendum. In Italy, there's a totally different problem. Uh, you can't compare it with, uh, with Greece. I think the Italian government is doing a good job in taking tough measures, fiscal measures, measures enhancing competitiveness of the Italian economy. We agreed already uh, a week ago that the European Commission can monitor the implementation of the commitments the uh, Italian Prime Minister made at the European uh, Council of uh, last week. Uh, it is possible that the International Monetary Fund will also monitor very closely the implementation of, of the programme. Uh, and we will discuss, uh, if, we, if there is need to go further, we will discuss it this evening. But in any case, you can't compare Italy with Greece. Uh, Italy is a strong economy, but they have to be very careful and they have to, to, to implement all what they promised. And, and that is a matter of credibility. Credibility is key for Italy these days. Let's hope, uh, as I said, the G20 leaders uh, praised uh, our decisions of, of last week. Uh, so we, let's, let's go further now and implement all this. And yeah, it is a stepwise approach, step-by-step uh, step, regaining confidence, regaining confidence. That's why it is a pity that the Greek referendum uh, created so much trouble and, and confusion. Yeah.